everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. What up, boys and girls? Today I'm really excited because we're going to dive into another North God edition uh, of Metal Week. So let's get into it. Now, I'm not going to cover all the fucking bands. I'm not going to cover all the monies, right? All the money bands. Uh, You know, there's a lot of monies out there. But I'm going to cover just a couple bands that, um, you know, that I dig. And maybe you know them, maybe you don't. Uh, But here we go. So first is fucking Parkway Drive Wishing Wells, right? Uh, At first, I... When I heard Wishing Wells, I was like, oh, because the intro starts out kind of like a fucking Western cowboy uh, country song, right? Sounds super country. And I was like, dude, if this if this is going to be a poppy Parkway song, I'm going to be really upset and disappointed. I've been a huge Parkway fan forever, man. Parkway was one of those bands that I think struck home with everyone, okay? Carrion is, and Horizons. I think Horizons is my, it is. It's my favorite album of all time. It's my number one. Uh, Every album off that track. So Parkway Drive, uh, you know, I'm biased, but at the same time, like last album, a lot of people are going to be like, it's not called Irie, it's called Ire, actually. However the fuck you say it. Uh, That album was, you know, uh, it's just, uh, Mm, it's just not good you know compared to atlas and fucking again horizons dude i compare every parkway album to fucking horizons so deep blue even eh, you know deep blue is another one they it's like every other year with parkway drive it's good bad good bad but anyways um yeah wishing wells it was just it started out slow and then when it when the first fucking because tonight I'm killing gods kicks in so that scream and then that fucking burn down 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 that iconic fucking parkway riffage you know I think everyone kind of woke up and was like oh shit because tonight I'm killing gods but it's just a perfect perfect example of upbeat chuggy melodic parkway drive you know and then that fucking hook burn your heaven drown your hell right damn you all Oh, dude. Another song came out, The Void. And The Void is like, it just starts out. It's super, again, it's super upbeat and poppy and it sounds heavy, but like, just the fuck, it's just, I don't know. If you listen to the entire song, for me, it's so fucking basic. It's just, I just feel like there's no heart really in that song. You know, it's every album has those kind of songs where it's like, oh, they really didn't put any, any like, uh, I don't know. Wishing Wells for me, of these two songs they just released coming up off the new album, Reverence, uh, drops May 4th. Um, of both of these songs that they dropped... The Void, I feel like it's going to be, you know, maybe one song off the album where it's kind of like, okay, just fill in the blanks. You know, we got to we gotta have 50 minutes or whatever, an hour fucking, you know, fill in the blanks. Um, 50 minutes for a fucking album. Come on, dude. Uh, basically, it's just, it's super generic. Honestly, no, no disrespect to Parkway Drive. I fucking, dude, they're one of my favorite, all-time favorite bands of all time. All-time favorite bands of all time. Yeah. Uh, but it's just, it's the void is not hitting. That's all I'll say about that. I'll let you guys be the judge of that shit. Okay. On to the next band. The, I, bl- I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Earth, earth, Eartheria, 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 right? Uh, Swedish fucking death metal band. And. They just released, I don't know if it's a fucking LP or EP or what. It doesn't even say on here. You know, it's like, oh, LP is 11 songs and then the EP is six and then a fucking full album is 10. Okay, I get all that shit confused. Just tell me if it's an album or an EP or an LP and we can go from there. Basically, it's fucking six songs or five. Let me look. There we go. Oh, shit, my asshole's throbbing. Eartheria, Eartheria, Eartheria. Awaken the Sun, 
Released fucking February 1st. Five. Five. Okay. Uh, this, man, also I'll say this is just fucking Swedish death metal at, at its fucking finest, right? This is pristine, and I have a raging boner for Swedish death metal. Everything, uh, everything basically comes back to Amon Amarth for me. When I started listening to Amon Amarth in 2005, that is when I was a, a Swedish death metal fuckboy. Dude, I, it, it's just all, I don't know. Anyways, it all come, it all started from Amon Amarth. So listen to Etheria, Awaken the Sun, um, Awaken the Sun. You should like it. Now, another one. Now, another one is, uh, Eng Engel. Uh, this is another Swedish, again, Swedish death metal fucking melodic death metal band. Um, and I've only listened to one song, okay? So all the fucking, <laughs> all the uh, Engel fans are going to be like, dude, you're so fucking gay, kill yourself. Like, what is it for? You never even know. You don't listen to death metal. Fuck off, right? Okay, so basically... This song is probably their softest song they ever wrote. Based off one of my homies, Brandon, uh, he's like, dude, yeah, 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 super poppy. I don't know what it is. It's soft. It's kind of like love metal. It reminds me a, a lot of him, you know? Uh, so, you know, the band him, uh, Wings of a Butterfly. And then what else? Uh, it's the funeral of hearts and the note for cruelty when angels cry blood and evil in blood. So, anyways, that's what it reminds me of. So, I'm a sucker for good melodic riffs, obviously. Engel in this song, what's the name of the song? The Condemned. Sounds fucking fantastic. I love it. I think it's great. Um, this song completely reminds me of Children of Bodom. Completely, dude. Uh, it just it just sounds like a Children of Bodom song. Bodom, the Children of Bodom song. Uh, again, Children of Bodom's heavy, but they also have lighter shit too. They have generic riffs, and then they have you know, fucking crazy, crazy ass fucking Alexi Leho shredding. So it just depends. Like this song though. The Condemned, when you hear it, you're, I guarantee you, I'll put $20 on it. You're going to think it sounds exactly like Bodum. So, okay. Now, another one. <laughs> Fallen in reverse, okay? So, Losing My Mind. Uh, Ronnie Radke. This song starts out with Ronnie Radke rapping. And I'll tell you what, it sounds actually really good. So, Losing my mind, falling in reverse. I don't know if they have an album. I looked on their on their website. It doesn't say anything about an upcoming album. Um, but it, losing my mind is the latest single that they put out. So nothing else. No other news on that. But excuse me. But this song completely. I I really now I grew up fucking with West Coast rap, right? Again, I don't know how many times I've said this. My very first album of music that I ever listened to was Tupac. All Eyes on Me in 1996, okay? So, I grew up with fucking Bone Thugs and Harmony, fucking a Tupac, fucking uh, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, all that shit, okay? West Coast, right? And I grew up with Big Two, East Coast shit, Nas, all that shit, Ja Rule, whatever, 50. Uh, but, so, hip-hop is always going to have a place in my heart, no matter what, okay? Because Tupac, uh, All Eyes on Me was first and... It's just, it's fucking Tupac. You know, I got to say something real quick about Lil Adderall, tweaker boy, fuck boy, who's like 16 right now, okay? Lil Adderall, who's talking shit about Tupac, bro. Okay. Nowadays, these mumble rappers who are so fucking doped up on, uh, what, Oxycontin and fucking lean, okay? Codeine. Mm -hmm. Fuck your bitch, tell her what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, la, la. Oh, no, 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 fuck you, bitch, tell her what. You, you will never, ever, ever be anything compared to Tupac, okay? I'll tell you that in fucking 25 million other people, probably more than that, will tell you the same exact thing. You will never fucking be on the same level as Tupac, okay? Tupac went through the shit, and you didn't, you little Adderall, little pump, what's his name, little Xanax? I, I just gotta say, man, like, if I fucking seen you in... You know, and this is this is just me talking shit. I'm a keyboard warrior. I really am. I'm a fucking just. I'm a keyboard warrior, but dude, I would just 
it might be illegal for me to punch you in the face, but I would knock those fucking gold teeth right out of your mouth for ever talking shit about Tupac and for ever talking shit about West Coast rap. Dude, you are too young to even know what the fuck was going on around that time and to know what real hip hop is like around the West Coast in the 90s. Okay, so shut your fucking mouth, dude. I'm just, mm, that just really ticked me off. Really fucking tick me off. You're going to disrespect one of the greatest rappers of all time and say that you're better and say that it's boring. Okay. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, you're overreacting, but shh, dude, just don't disrespect Tupac. That's all I got to say. Don't, right. don't fucking disrespect Tupac. What the fuck was this? I think I just got a sub or something. Like, <laughs> I think I, oh, I think I did. I think I just got a sub during, okay, whatever. Anyways. On to the next. Fall in Reverse uh, it sounds so West Coast rap, dude. It's It really sounds good. Check it out. Uh, losing my mind. Fall in Reverse. Now, on to the best. And, and holy fuck, am I blown away. Am I blown away by this album? Firepower by Judas Priest. Okay. Now, it gives me chills just saying fucking firepower. Okay. Judas, man, dude. I, I like... Okay, I'm a Judas Priest fan, but I'm not like a fucking, you know, I didn't grow up with Judas Priest as much as I did with, you know, metalcore and death metal and all that shit, okay? So, here and there, I've listened to Judas Priest, British Steel, you know, that's a fucking heavy-ass old-school album. That's basically what, that's the, I, that's iconic Judas Priest, British Steel. Um, this fucking album, Firepower, dude, I'll tell you what, I've listened to this whole album about eight times from front to back. And I haven't even stopped playing it. I don't skip a song. Um, I don't, yeah. I, I, it is so fucking good and heavy. And it just, it sounds like Judas Priest. It really does. Uh, it sounds like Screaming for Vengeance. Okay, so as far as the hooks and the the riffs go, basically, I don't know a whole lot of other albums other than basically British Steel and Screaming for Vengeance, but I will say the closest resemblance is Screaming for Vengeance. The hooks, the riffs, this sounds like, th this album is going to be timeless for Judas Priest. You could throw this, any timeline of, of their fucking discography, and I bet if you've never listened to it, you couldn't tell what year this album came out. That's how good this album is. I am fucking seriously blown away, and this album... Firepower is going to be a top 10 album of metal this year in 2018. And we're only fucking three months in, right? So I know I say that a lot. Like I said, Kane Hill is going to be a top 10 album. Fucking uh, uh, Six by For the Fallen Dreams is going to be a top 10 album. And Firepower is going to be a top 10 album. It's fucking good and you got to check it out. Now, so my, my favorite track off this album is never the heroes um it starts off fucking starts off with the awesome it starts off with an awesome ass fucking build up chuggy riffage and then the first verse is like nothing i've ever heard from rob and judas priest and it's like it's just soft you know it's really so and then the build up and then to the hook never the heroes we are made to fight never the heroes we are sacrifice dead world Dude, I don't know why that's my favorite song because Firepower is fucking heavy as shit. That's the first song on the track. Like, they come into this album just punching you right in the teeth, dude. It's, man. And they don't let up, like, at all. There's like a there's like two songs that are softer. And one of the here... Uh, yeah, this little story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the French of a township. Never the Heroes is one of the softer, but it's still... It's still just chuggy. Chuggy, iconic Judas Priest. And I fucking love it. I will tell you what. 
I will put this album up against any, any Iron Maiden album, any fucking Megadeth album because Megadeth is just garbage. I'll even put this up against Master of Puppets. That's how fucking good this album is. I'm telling you, this is going to be a top 10 fucking album this year. If 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 I go to fucking Loudwire and it's not top 10 at the end of this year, I'm going to be pissed. But that's just me. Anyways, that's your uh, weekly metal update. Happy St. Patrick's Day, motherfuckers.